Hey guys, Chris Aldrich here. Right for Pro Monster and Pro Serie Cow Talking. Uh, you know, it's been killer actually. Um, you know, I kind of came off of a, I shouldn't say disappointing week at Loretta's, but I, I wish I would have done better. And, uh, you know, to come out at UNA Dillon and get an eighth overall and an eighth in the moto, it was, it, it, I felt really good. It was definitely an accomplishment. And then, uh, you know, with Indiana being bad weather and stuff, I just didn't perform as well as I wanted to. But, you know, I, uh, in Utah, I did really good, so I'm happy. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, coming into this team, it was, it was a little nerve-wracking. You know, when I, when I got the phone call to, to do the last three for him, I was, I was excited at the same time nervous because I knew I was going to be under the tent with two past champions. So, uh, no, it was fun. I came in, you know, I, I didn't have any expectations, man. I, like I said, I did very good at Loretta's, so no expectations, and I just tried my hardest. Um, I had fun with it. I kind of, the fun had kind of left and, you know, amateur stuff, but, uh, you know, when I went pro, I just, I kind of wanted to turn it around and start having fun again, and, man, Unidil sparked it back up again. I started having the time of my life, and I'm just enjoying it. The pro life, the pro life's awesome. You know, to be honest, um, really, I, it was kind of opposite. You know, I thought I was going to have the challenges I was going to, and it was a lot easier than I thought. Um, the things I thought were going to come easy seemed to be a lot harder than I thought. You know, I was, I was a good starter all year in the amateur stuff, and I came here and thought, you know, I, I, I think I can be a decent starter, and uh, that was, I was wrong. Uh, I think my best start was like a 30th at Unadilla. Um, and then, you know, as far as the pace, I didn't think the pace was, I was going to be on pace. Um, you know, I thought I was going to be a little bit off, and then when I came to Unadilla and got that eighth at Moto, it kind of shocked me a little bit. Um, I was, I was definitely surprised at, at where my speed was, but you know, I, I got to keep working on it. Man. Jeremy and those guys and Kristoff and and even both guys on my team, Dean and Blake. I mean, they're still leaps and bounds ahead of me. I got a lot to do, a lot of work to do. You know, I know that everyone's going to call me a liar, um, and they, they, you know they did it on TV and they did it everywhere else. But I had no nerves. You know, after, you know, I think if I would have done good at Loretta's and performed like I thought I should have, I would have had nerves. I would have came in kind of expecting myself, okay, I went there, I did good, I want to come do good here. But, but doing so bad at Loretta's, I came in there not knowing where I was at. You know, I didn't know if I was going to ride good or if I was going to ride bad and know which Chris was going to show up. So, I had no nerves, man. I literally sat on the line, looked left, looked right, and said, man, it's another race, I guess. Um, and then, you know, I wasn't nervous off the start. and. The roost was the funnest part. When I was getting roosted by Blake Baggett on the first lap, I was pumped. I'm like, I'm getting roosted by a champion. So I just, there's no jitters, man. I just had a good time. I'm Chris Aldridge, and I'll see you in 2015.